One of the consoles that I've been playing a lot of lately has got to be the Nintendo Switch. Now obviously when it first came out I played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, later on I played Super Mario Odyssey, but what I love about the Switch, it's the fact that it's so versatile. You can have it on the go, you can play it on your television. Admittedly for a little while, I was skeptical because of its performance. Some games ran great, others not so much, but the fact of the matter is that the Nintendo Switch offers a variety of modern and classic games, and late last year I actually found out about something called the Flip Grip, an accessory for the Switch that maximizes the potential of games that support a 90 degree screen rotation. These are games that don't have a widescreen ratio and were often released for the arcades. Pac-Man, pinball games, bullet hell shooters, and even Ikaruga, which is a GameCube bullet hell shooter that was ported to the Switch, that one has screen rotation support. And in case we're not clear about what that is, usually, say you have your Switch in handheld mode, you hold it like this, right? Well, screen rotation support means you can play the game like this. Now we're talking your Donkey Kong's original games that use the vertical aspect ratio of a screen rather than the horizontal one. The Flip Grip was a highly successful Kickstarter project developed by Fangamer, and initially I was skeptical because I've had the situation where I backed something in Kickstarter, I backed over three games, and you can't ask me to review those games because, well, I never actually got my hands on those. But this, at only $12, I thought to myself, it's a great opportunity to play games differently, it's an accessory, and even if it doesn't go all that great, even if it doesn't work all that well, it was only $12, and needless to say, I was very surprised by how much I enjoyed using the Flip Grip on my Nintendo Switch. The Flip Grip has no electronic components of any kind. It's a portable dock that latches onto your Nintendo Switch. Everything locks into place, so you don't have to worry about anything falling off. You remove the Joy-Cons from the Flip Grip the exact same way you would with the Nintendo Switch. So here you have the Joy-Con, the Flip Grip, you turn it to its back, you press and hold the button, and just like that, it comes off. You have to insert the switch at a specific angle, otherwise it won't get locked in tight. And it is really easy to remove the switch from the flip grip. Once again, you turn it to its back, and here you see an orange latch. Now your instinct, if you're like me, is going to be to push it. Don't do that. What you do is you actually pull it, just gently, not too much, and just like that, it comes off. The flip grip also comes with a card that not only explains all of this, it actually doubles as a stand so you can place your switch on a table while in vertical mode. So that's it for the setup process of the flip grip. Now the big question is, what can you play with it? Retronauts.com continually updates a post that is dedicated to listing all of the games that support proper screen rotation. I'll post a link to it in the description. Some of the games that support the flip grip include Punch-Out from the Arcade Archives, Donkey Kong Jr., Ikaruga, some of the games from the SNK 40th Anniversary Collection, Pinball FX3, which is what I primarily used with the Flip Grip, Don Maku Unlimited 3, Samurai Aces, Gunbird, and Gunbird 2. Now, as far as my opinions about the Flip Grip, I just like the fact that it's simple. Just look at it. Right now, I'm holding the switch. I'm not holding the Flip Grip. It's not falling off. You don't see me sweating bullets hoping it's going to come off. If I'm done using it and I want to put it back on the TV, I can just do this. I can take the Joy-Cons off and play the Switch like I would normally. It allows you to enjoy good games even more because as I mentioned, I bought this primarily to play Pinball FX3 and I had already played it on my television and in handheld mode and it's fun but it's obviously a little bit difficult to play uh, pinball games because you're missing a lot of that screen real estate because it's in horizontal mode. So what happened is that once I got the flip grip, I immediately noticed the changes and that persuaded me to use the switch in handheld mode more than I often would be because usually I played it on the TV, but ever since I got this, I found myself browsing the eShop, playing pinball more often, just laying down in bed and places like that. Now that being said, I do have two gripes with the flip grip. The first one is that the way that you put it in is actually a little bit uncomfortable because here you have the switch's power button and the volume buttons. And the way that you put it with the flip grip means that you're actually covering up the power and the volume buttons. And not just that, say you have the switch turned on, what's gonna end up happening is that as you uh, slide it in, the volume is actually gonna go down. Now this isn't that big of a deal because you can go to the home button using the Joy-Con and adjust the volume from there. And the second thing, and this is in no way a fault to the flip grip itself, is that although a lot of the games do support vertical screen orientation, the menus themselves may not actually support that. So you're gonna find yourself constantly having to flip around with the exception of something like Pinball FX, which has full vertical support 
everything else it's like okay so i gotta flip the uh, switch and if you go to the switches menu you gotta go back to this and it gets a little bit confusing but consider the fact that you're not getting the flip grip to play every single game on the switch in vertical mode as a matter of fact as you saw with the retronauts post we definitely need a lot more switch games that support vertical screen orientation because maybe you're watching this and you don't quite get why it's worth getting and I was kind of like that myself where, okay, it's gonna be a cool and neat accessory that I'm gonna get for a Vita review, but then I'll never use it again. Needless to say, I've been using it a lot. So consider getting it. Once again, it's like $12. Don't be afraid of the fact that the Kickstarter ended months ago. It is currently available online, so I'll make sure to leave some links in the description. So if you're interested, you can actually get yourself a flip grip and you can let me know what you think of it. So to summarize, if you love shoot 'em ups and you love pinball games and you have a Nintendo Switch, why haven't you gotten one of these? I hope that you have. Plus, I mean, they, they gave me a sticker. It's a cool sticker. Look at, the, look at him. He's so happy. Let me know what you think of the flip grip and what kind of other accessories you think would be awesome for the Nintendo Switch. Going all the way back to the Wii, we got steering wheels. We do have things like that with the Switch. But I do feel like this really opens up Pandora's box as far as, huh, so if this makes this experience that much better, is there anything else that can come out for the Switch that also does the same? If you think about any other accessory that could work like that, definitely let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this review, consider subscribing, giving me the thumbs up. Don't forget I post a brand new video every single Monday and Friday. On Mondays, I post video game reviews, video game showcases, discussion videos. So if you have any suggestions about videos like that, you can drop that in every Friday we have The Game Vault. I post videos 15 to 30 minutes in length where I play in a Let's Play format those unplayed games in my PC gaming library. I played Perfect Date, Mark of the Ninja, so you can definitely check those out right now on the channel. So until next time, don't forget to hit that notifications bell because YouTube definitely makes it difficult for you to know when the latest videos are available. And never forget that this video has concluded, but the epic journey continues. So thank you for watching, gang. Take care. When I first got this, I was really concerned because I put the switch in and I was dumb. I didn't look at the card. So I just kept pushing and pushing and just wondering why is the switch not coming off? And I was worried I was gonna break the volume button or something, but then it's like Juan, you you do this. It's not that complicated.